I would describe my own personal style probably as hit and miss <laughs> and borderline bad taste. The design process for me each season usually starts quite slowly. I have quite a large collection of, of stuff, so I have lots of books, everything. My own sort of home is very much sort of representative of how I work and there's usually something from that that will spark what I might think of for the next collection. I think it should stem from something you have a genuine love for, something you feel quite passionately about, um, because you need, you need to have that connection to it in order to work that hard to realise it, and then to, you know, and then to promote it and encourage other people to like it as well. My sketching style kind of evolved. I used to spend a long time, hours and hours, kind of doing them, and I, it was really quite self-indulgent. I loved it. I loved that kind of attention to detail. And then the reality is that when you start having to do stuff quickly, there's just not enough time to spend hours and hours doing a very, very worked drawing. I would like to think that the Holly Fulton woman could be a lot of different women, and I have seen women that are 20 wearing it, and I've seen women that are 60 wearing it. I have a sort of huge, just a huge love of colour. I think there has been a sort of huge renaissance in the use of colour, and obviously particularly print at the moment within London designers, and people are quite sort of reflective that potentially because of recession, it's a reaction towards that, and that people are potentially wanting to dress more optimistically. I don't think it will go back to a kind of 80s strip it back to black kind of approach approach anytime soon. I hope not, um, but I, I think it's I think it's here to stay.